Well, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit, and today we're going to make some seed packet envelopes for our junk journals. And I have uh, this digital in my Etsy shop. It's got lots of little covers of seed packets, and I'm going to make some seed packet envelopes. So it also has, the, has these little small and smaller, so you can use them to, you know, add little focal points to your journal um, ephemera and then another extra page with some little decorative deals so yep all right but then anyway let's do let's do seed packets uh, which one do I like oh I love all of these this one's a particular favorite So like I said, if you're interested in this digital, just uh, my, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description. Okay, so I'm gonna trim off this. And then just pick another piece of paper. Uh, it could be decorated, it could be white, it doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna Take an eight by 11 and then glue it onto the front here. And I was able to spend a really nice weekend with my sisters. So that was pretty cool. We had a very good time, did a little bit of crafting, did a puzzle together. So that was cool. And it was so bizarre because I, I don't know that I've done a lot of puzzles in my life. And it was one that I had done before. And my sister had picked it up. I was like, that is very strange. Pretty small. I don't know if that's the way I should have done it. Okay. Well, it wasn't. But it will work. So I'm just gonna back up right now and I'll redo this one later. So what we should have done is this. Turn this off really quick. Okay, so you do wanna leave a gap in the top on the top and the bottom so so we have room for our closing at the bottom and our i don't know what that's called like an envelope i feel like there's a word for it but i just can't think of it oh well okay so let's just give ourselves extra also knock that over oh Move this out. Getting off to a rip roar and start today. <laughs> these edges to stay glued down. Okay, I'm gonna go kind of follow the pattern there. You see this, and this are kind of different. So that's where I'm gonna do the fold. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna fold it here. So if you're just creating your own seed packets and you don't have the digital, uh, that's totally fine. You can just, I don't really need all this extra. You could just uh, find some floral anything and put it on the back of pretty paper, plain paper, anything, and you can get this look of a seed packet. You could make your own labels that say seed packets on them, so. Okay, so now this is how I do this. You can use a corner rounder, or you can just do it by hand, which is how I like to do it. And I just round the corners. So this one's the bottom. 
And this is my top. So I'm just going to do some bigger ones. This may not be what I use, but this is just how I do it. Okay, I'm just going to do the bottom first. So I take the bottom and I just cut down a little bit. And I really want to go all the way down to where the seed packet pattern starts, which I can see is right here. I'm going to go right across and cut that piece out. And then I just have this bit left over to fold up. And that right away, I can just glue right on. That we glue. It's still a little wet. I gave it way too much glue on the outside there. Okay, so now there's the front. Now on this one we could leave it so the packet is a little bit taller. So I'm gonna do that. So this will be my this will be the end of it. So I'm just gonna fold that over, give it a crease, and that will be my demarcation. That's the part I'm going to cut out on the back. I just go down there, go to that line, cut it, cut it out, and then there we have it. So I kind of like the top if it's a little angled. So you can just do, use your corner rounder if you feel like you can't really create an edge that you want. But I just kind of wing it. So there's there's mine. So the back, it's okay. It's totally fine. But the front, look at that. We've got a seed packet. Ha <laughs> ha. Love it. Okay, let's do another one. One is one I decided on. Okay. And then I'm just gonna, this time I'm gonna, so I'm gonna try to remember that this is how big the top of my envelope is going to be so like however big however much room this is is also how big how, how tall that flip is hmm. okay I'm gonna glue it glue it down or hopefully I can get all the wrinkles out okay go to there my bone folder. Good grief. Okay, so I don't really need much at all at the bottom. Right there, that edge. Try to get that even. And this one. Right at that edge. Okay. No. I don't want too much extra. I'm going to. I'm just going to trim this right here. I know I'm making this more difficult than it has to be, but this is the easiest way for me anyway. It's to just... So if I were to look at that, how much is extra? It is about an inch and a half width on each side. So... 
if you want to do that, that might be the smarter way to go. <laughs> okay, I'll try to put it like this. Our glitter glue happening now. Okay. All right, back to this. You go right down to that edge where the paper comes around. Trim that off, and then figure out what you, how you want your your envelope to look at the end. I'm just kind of curving it and then angling it a little bit. I'll give this one a little more of an angle. And now we're ready to get the bottom. There we go. Now this bottom one, this is the bottom, we can glue this one together right away. And I'm ready to see the other side, see what we, what we look like. Look how cute those are. Oh my goodness, these little sea packets. They're so cute. Put that right in there. Very cute. And this one, yeah, I don't like that because my terminal would do this one. Go all the way down to that spot. I like that a lot better. Okay. And then just go to town making making seed packets with all these. There's so many neat ones in here. That one should work. Right 
there. down. That's okay. I'm just curious to see. <laughs> yeah, how it looks with using the corner rounder. We'll just check it out. So then that's that's our top. Now yeah, that looks pretty nice. Pretty nice, actually. I just go all day making these, but those are my seed packets, and aren't they cute? I'm just gonna come in a little closer. Very cute. All right. Well, if you're interested in seeing more videos, you can go ahead and click subscribe. And as always, thanks for coming along, and I'll talk to you later.